the future of medicine is going to be multidisciplinary, multidisciplinary approach to uh, patient care. And so I think it's nice to see that and how all the different components interact in a clinic visit. is actually a um, very interdisciplinary team. So we have um, physicians, medical residents, nurse practitioners, and then pharmacists. And when we see the patients or care for the patients, we actually do it together. So we go into the room together, we um, formulate plans together. It's, it's um, you know, very, very interdisciplinary. The pharmacists, though, are the people who are consistent in the clinic each week. So we're doing all the follow-up on the phone in between visits and then also, um, you know, probably providing the continuity of where has this patient been and where is the patient going. Um, the patient sort of defines their own goal, um, which I think is really huge. Uh, whereas the traditional approach was you have diabetes, here's some insulin, here's, you know, metformin, here's some other stuff, you need to be on a statin, you need to be on an ACE inhibitor, take this medicine and come in through a semen in three months, every three months we'll do this again. And so we take a really individualistic approach to patient care, which I think is, is important and I think is going to ultimately improve outcomes for, for, for those folks. It's not just about physicians, it's about a physician, an MA, um, or a medical assistant, a pharmacist, a patient center, medical home nurse. Um, even a social worker or dietitian, so we have access to all that at our disposal. And so if a patient needs all of those elements, we have them. I have a patient who was so excited because he got his A1C to like 6.9. And he, like, it was probably one of his biggest accomplishments in the last like 10 years. And that was just so much fun. Like him and his wife were celebrating in the room. And just to know that you contributed with that and to see them so excited is probably the most rewarding thing. It's ext extremely gratifying to have patients come back to Diabetes Clinic and we can actually say, you changed your diet and you're exercising and we're going to see what you can do without insulin because your numbers have gotten so much better. As a pharmacist, of course, it revolves around medications, but it's, it's more than just the medications. It's seeing them be healthy and how much joy it brings to them to know they're not on medicine. You know, when we see hemoglobin A1Cs move as significant as we do in a multidisciplinary approach like that, I think a lot of that has to do with empowering patients um, with education. And so when we have these visits, uh, the pharmacists, I think, provide a huge or a great deal of education, not just about the medication, but about um, diabetes itself so that patients are really empowered and really um, are able to sort of take control of their disease. We're not just there to give you your pills and say we'll see you in 30 days. Uh, we really can follow up on titrate doses, look at side effects, uh, check numbers and, and talk to the physician and be like hey so and so this looks like they're out of control, can I go up on the dose, whatever it is. I mean those are things that we're doing all the time now and like I said our physicians are just used to that and they expect that of us um, and then following up with them in between allowing the patients to touch base with us whenever they want to. Um, patients will be healthier um, so I really think that this model is, is where primary care healthcare needs to be going in this country.